Okay, in this tutorial, I'm going to go through reasons to choose National 5 Geography, and these will outline the main topics that we review, some of the key skills and knowledge you'll develop throughout the two-year course, as well as the field work that we conduct as part of the course. So, um, in terms of what you learn, it, National 5 Geography is arranged into a series of topics, and we study um, two global issues. The first global issue is to do with climate change, uh, both the causes, consequences, and solutions of this global issue. And the second global issue that we study is disease or health, as the topic is known. We look at the spread of a variety of diseases across the world, why certain diseases are more common in some parts of the world than others, and what we can do to solve a variety of different diseases. Those two topics make up the Global Issues Unit. We also look at what's called Physical Environments Unit, which looks at two major themes. The first one is how the natural world is actually formed through large-scale processes like ice ages that have shaped large areas of our planet, creating glacial landscapes. And we specifically look at the Scottish landscape as a product of the last ice age. The second major landscape that we explore is what is happening around the edges of the land. And we look at a lot of detail in coastal landscapes and how the, the sea shapes and forms this particular part of the United Kingdom. The final area of the physical environments unit is looking at the weather and how it is actually created and why it changes from season to season and from day to day. And we look at a variety of different issues that are currently affecting the weather and why the weather is in um, is in flux, especially linking some of the ideas here to the topic climate change. Our final unit is the human environments unit, uh, and we look at three main areas here. We first of all look at the impact of human beings in the development of cities and urbanization and the spread of these cities around the world as well as some of the more negative aspects of the growth of cities, uh, specifically focusing in shantytowns, for example. Uh, the second topic we look at within this unit is the rural environments, looking at rural geography and food production, specifically focusing on a lot of the changes that have happened in the last 20 years or so, both in the developed world and in the developing world. And our third topic area that makes up this unit is global population change, specifically thinking about the forces at play in the planet that are leading to the dramatic increase in human population and how that is impacting on different countries around the world. So these units combined make up the geography course, but clearly there is a, a wide range of interactions between all of the units. So the weather and climate, for example, is influenced by global climate change at the same time um, global climate change is forcing people away from certain parts of the world into settlements like we can see here which is influencing their human development so the interaction between the physical world the human world and the changing planet uh, students will start to develop an understanding of these interrelationships Part of the course uh, is built around field trips. Um, so in S3, we do a field trip to Loch Lomond, where we study the impacts of people in this landscape. And we gather some information whilst on the trip, and we use this to develop an assignment, which constitutes 20% of the overall mark. And that is done in class. It's uh, like an expanded project, basically. Our second field trip is in S4 and it surrounds the urban geography topic. We take a trip to Glasgow and we study urban changes, visiting the old abandoned dockyards, the city centre, as well as looking at the issue of urban sprawl and the spread of the city around the uh, edges. Of course, the highlight of anybody's life life in the geography department is the opportunity to attend our optional field trips. And we run two on a, se on a sequence of one to two years. Um, to the, the great landscapes of Western United States, uh, for example, to see the Grand Canyon, but we also do a more local trip to Southern Italy, to the Bay of Naples, to look at volcanic landscapes. And they are purely optional, but obviously students studying geography um, are given the opportunity to join these trips. So that makes up the uh, National Five Geography course, and hopefully you've now got a bit more detail about the course. If you have any specific questions, I would encourage you to contact your teacher.